Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here with uh, a new game for the channel, Green Hell. It's a survival game where you're surviving in the jungle. I played the game a little bit. Uh, by no means I'm an expert. I've played about 10 hours and I'm still learning stuff. So this is a new save, a new survival game. Uh, and we're playing on the Welcome to the Jungle settings, which is not the easiest, but one up from the easiest. There's four difficulty settings. This is number two, four being hardest. And then there's custom settings. I just picked up some nuts, uh, which gives us um, fat. There's different macronutrients you need to feed yourself with. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that they give you in this guide when you start out. Stuff you can make and different plants and stuff. But you have to experiment and kind of learn as you go, like what plants kill you and what plants uh, are good for you. Uh, so we have a watch here that shows us our macronutrients. The left red one is protein and then there's uh, carbohydrates is yellow, water is blue and fats is green. So you got to keep all those up from eating different kinds of food. If you use your mouse wheel when your watch is open you can see the time and date. So it's December 16th, so 9am and you get your coordinates as well. Um, you don't start with a map though, you have to find maps apparently. Yeah, so we're at 49 west, 16 south. <coughs> Which is, uh, for me, lost, because I don't really know the map uh, that well. And kind of coincidentally, um, I've been watching the series Lost from from 19 years ago, and they're kind of on an island, jungly kind of island. Uh, trying to survive as well but uh, not as much mystery on this this is just pure kind of survival there's an animal over there so my goal for the first episode is to one stay alive but also to set up a shelter so I can I can do a save so that if we die we can at least reload so we're trying to move slowly and carefully because there's tons of things that'll kill you out there now I do know that these mushrooms here are safe so we can take those and eat them safely. You only kind of find out these things by experimentation. So that's these mushrooms here. I'm going to eat one. We get five carbohydrates out of that. And then this other, other unknown mushroom up here. This one gives some energy plus five carbs. So we'll kind of pick up those up as we go. Later on with the fire you can make teas and brews and stuff. I see what looks like a road down there. Now there are um, locals that will you'll encounter and they are very hostile. They will kill you uh, on site. So we should probably be thinking about making a weapon as well. Usually you can find nuts under some of these look at these trees here, like I found earlier. There's uh, there's sticks, small sticks, logs and planks and all sorts of things. What do we got here? We got kind of a watering hole down here. <clears throat> Looks like there's a... There's an armadillo, which are friendly. And a turtle. Uh, and there's some bananas here, which we'll uh, harvest a couple of those. We might harvest more of those later, but... Oh, we got a little, like a little lizard kind of guy, too. <laughs> okay, let's check our... We're going to want a source of water. Now, to get water, the easiest way to get water is probably to get a coconut. Uh, so we'll try to find a coconut. This is water, but we can't drink it because it's unsafe. So I might even set up a camp right here. We got a little bit of a water source. Oh, there's a... That is a termite mound or an ant mound. We don't want to go too close to that. Uh, I should probably make a weapon. We need to find some stones. I think there's a stone over here. This guy's very tame. Hello. <laughs> he saw me at the last minute. Okay, this is a big stone. As you pick up things, you'll you'll unlock new recipes. So I want to right click and harvest this. Big stones, you can harvest for little stones. And then if you open up, if you hit C, you get this radial menu and then craft. <clears throat> you craft by dragging things onto this rock. So I'm going to drag two stone on here, and that lets you build a stone blade. Now that I have a stone blade, I think some other stuff got unlocked as well. But this is kind of a 
basic tool. I don't know if I can kill this turtle with this blade. Let's see. Oh, that was easy. I think he was still alive. I think we're killing him while he's alive. I feel bad. I feel bad. But uh, we're going to need the meat eventually. Now, actually, I kind of lucked out here. Because if I put this shell down here and it rains, and it rains often in this game, at least when you start out, it'll fill with water and we can drink out of that. So, oh, look at the guy digging away. <laughs> okay, shelter. I want to build a shelter. Uh... Now, this won't be my permanent base, I don't think. <clears throat> in fact, I could probably put a shelter in here. Oh, these snails you can eat? Uh, do we need to eat yet, though? Oh, I'm dirty right now. That little symbol in the bottom left means I'm dirty. So we're going to right-click the water and do wash yourself. Because if you're dirty and you eat, you can get infections and stuff. And if you stand in water too long, you can get covered in leeches and stuff. There is... Oh, that's not a rock I can get. You can boil water in coconuts. I should probably also make a spear. For that, I need a stick. A long stick and a stick. No, let's make an axe first. An axe is... A stick and a stone. Really basic. Stick and a stone. Stone axe. It's the cheapest axe. But it'll let us... Um, Cut down trees, which is nice. Your little backpack inventory has different tabs. So we've got tools, we got an axe and a stone blade so far. Uh, we got our kind of stick and rope area. We got our food. This meat's gonna rot in 19 hours. These bananas are gonna rot eventually. The snail, let's eat the snail. He doesn't like eating it. Disgusting. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, and I think you can get parasites from eating the snails, but you can also cook them or turn them into a soup, I think. So they don't, they're not as disgusting tasting. Okay, so let's maybe chop down a tree. These uh, smaller trees, this looks kind of like a smaller tree. There's even smaller ones, but let's cook, cut this down. Takes a while. Now you're skilling up and the right here you can see axes plus one. And tools have condition as well. Okay, that didn't really go where I wanted it to go. <laughs> I'm stuck on the cliff there. Okay, we'll pick up the logs. You can pick up three logs at a time. Uh, I'm gonna bring these, oh, there's some fruits there. Gotta remember all these places because the fruit eventually respawns. And Mr. Lizard. Okay, I'll drop those logs there for now. Now, one thing I learned uh, kind of after the fact was that if you hit a log with an axe, it'll turn into a plank and two long sticks. And long sticks are needed for things like uh, the spear, I think. I'm going to drop that for now. We're going to go pick up those other sticks first. Did that anteater res... Oh no, we didn't kill that. Uh, armadillo? No, we killed the turtle. Okay, let's go get the rest of these things. Yeah, learning the... Oh, here comes the rain. <clears throat> uh, that's some vine there. I'm trying to get that, but I think I'm... Oh, it's because I'm carrying a stick. I'll drop the stick for a second here. So I can get that vine. This is rope. You'll find this on various trees. I really want to get a shelter up. Actually, that should be my main priority. How's my, uh, how are my nutrients doing here? I gotta put this stuff down first. How are the nutrients? Oh, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. Okay, so shelter. Uh, let's see here. We've got a hut shelter, a small shelter. I'm gonna build a hut shelter. Eight sticks, three long sticks, one rope, twelve palm leaves. Allows us to save the game. I don't want to be close, too close to that ant hill. Looks like I have to be on flat ground here. I'll stick it right here. Now it makes a little ghost image, and then you gotta fill it up with stuff like the sticks. So I'll insert the sticks in there. This guy's very, fri very friendly. <laughs> 
And then we need three long sticks. Okay, one, two, three. And we'll drop those in there. I'm gonna forget about that anthill and probably walk into it later. And then we need a bunch of palm leaves, which we can get off palm looking trees. Uh, up there, there's one. Now these plants, you can't harvest them from what I've seen. Should we dunk bonk this guy? I feel bad killing him. We don't need them yet. We don't need his flesh yet. Here we got some palm trees here. I'm not sure if there's a predictable way these things fall. Uh, actually, what did I need? Palm, yeah, palm leaves. We don't have to cut down a giant tree for that though. We could just cut down this thing here. Okay, there we go. You can pick up five of these palms at once. And there's kind of a cheaty way to pick up more stuff if you put it on the crafting menu. But we'll do it uh, the regular way here first. Put those in, so we need more. More of these. Let's pick up as many as we can here. Now you'll sometimes get dry palm from these as well. Dry palm are good for uh, making fires, which we'll eventually set up here. I just want to be able to save the game here first because it's really easy to die in this game. Jaguars can sneak up on you, uh, you can stub your toe and die from infection. <laughs> it's <laughs> You can't actually do that, but you can you can walk on walk on the wrong thing, a rattlesnake might get you. It's it's pretty un unforgiving. But I've been learning, I've been unlocking and learning new things that make it certainly easier, like which plants you can eat without dying, which medicines work for what. This little guy is so, so funny. Get away. <laughs> It'll be dinner in a few days. Okay, we got the shelter. I'm going to drop the rest of these palm on the ground here. So let's save right away, because otherwise we may end up dying. Hut shelter. We can sleep in this. If you hold, if you kind of hover over this area, you get sleep. And if you look up a bit, you get save game. So we'll save it over here. We're going to overwrite our peening there. Yeah, okay. So now I can kind of relax a little bit, <laughs> because we got a save point, And if I die, it's not the end of the world. Let's reload. What should we do next? Probably a fire. Um, we also need to find a coconut. How's our, how are our nutrients doing? We'll want to sleep during the night, probably. Now I have the brightness turned up to the max so we can see things better. That's partially for me, but also, um, for you guys so you can see better. But it gets pretty dark at night, so turning the brightness up certainly helps. This is a nice flat up area up here. Maybe I should have built up here. Hmm. Maybe I should have built up here. But uh, it'd be nice to find a coconut. They're big and they're green. And oh yeah, there's some fruit here as well. Oh, there's a rattlesnake. If you get too close, it'll attack. You usually can hear them, but I can't really hear that one. The game kind of warns you a little bit. We're gonna eat this unknown fruit right away. They look like oranges. If we pick one, we can see it, it rots in 15 hours, pretty quickly. Uh, should I grab a couple more? Yeah, why not? They're good for carbs. Uh, falling damage is a real thing in this game, so you don't want to fall. Let's set up where we're going to build our fire. I think I'll do it uh, maybe right here. Let's see here. I always forget what it's under. The leaf bed you don't really need, but it's handy later. Okay, what is walking up on me? It's kind of freaking me out. It's you. Are you gonna, are you gonna, maybe we'll just keep you alive forever. <laughs> There's a cave here too I can go in. Oh, maybe we should check that out. Oh, we haven't made a spear yet, but let's get, let's get the fire thing down first. 
It's under... What is it under? Well, we can see what we got here. <clears throat> we got storage places for st sticks and stuff. Won't need that just yet. A leaf bed. This is good if you're, like, traveling and you need to sleep kind of in an emergency. Planting boxes. Uh, these are actually really useful. You know what? I'm going to make one of these. At least we'll get the blueprint down here. I'll put it right here. I think that'll get light and water. Maybe down a bit. Just put the blueprint down. We'll fill it in later. Because we could... You know what? If you... I can harvest one of these oranges. You can eat, harvest, or uh, you can name them. I'm going to harvest them for seeds. And then the seeds last forever. Once we get this built... Oh, did I see the rattlesnake? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's the shell. Jeez, I'm scaring myself. This is a rock here. Yeah, a big stone. We're going to want that eventually. There's a scorpion in there. And a spider. Hmm. Okay, the fire. Let's get that fireplace down. Uh, here we go. Small fire. We'll put that right... It uh, doesn't want to put it right here. Okay, here. We'll put it close to the sleeping area, maybe. Now, if you walk over the fire, you will get burnt, so... Maybe I'll put it right... I don't know. In real life, I'd put it kind of here to keep me warm in the shelter, but uh, let's put it over here, maybe. Oh, it's gonna rain. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. Fires need to be under shelter, or they will go out. So, you know what? I'm gonna try to put it in here instead. Now, those critters are there. Can we put it up here, maybe? We could put it right here, in the cave. Is that gonna be undercover? I think it is. I, I need to be able to get by this as well, though. So that's maybe not the best idea. I also want to put a ring around it eventually. Hmm. Those guys are in my way. Maybe I... It needs to be undercover. And I don't have any other cover here. And it does rain a lot. Uh, maybe we'll make a spear first. For that, we need a long stick <clears throat> and a stone thingy. Let's get some stones off this thing. Harvest. You just gotta learn the recipes. Some of them are unlocked, some of them are not. I'm gonna harvest this one too. And I'll make another stone tool thingy. Two of these. Stone blade. I think it's stone blade, long stick, and a string. I think I used up all my long sticks, but we can hit this log. Maybe. And that'll give us two long sticks. Now it's kind of weird, you can't really hold the long sticks and craft at the same time, so you have to do something kind of like this. Craft, and then you can drag it off the ground in here. And we want a stone tool. It kind of tells you up here that you need three things. And I have no rope. So we'll be back. After these messages. Let's go find some rope. You can usually find it on a tree like that. That snake. I gotta be careful of that snake. Uh, here we go. The vines. To get our rope. You can hold ten rope at once, I think. Come on, if I can get it. There we go. I always like to pick up sticks when I see them out. That way you don't have to chop to get them. There's probably another vine underneath here. There we go. And I think those respawn. This is definitely my new favorite game. Like, I, it's been... I bought the game like years and years ago and then played it for very little time. What is that? A bird feather. Oh. Cool. Just sitting on the ground. Yeah, I bought it a long time ago. Played it very briefly. Didn't really get into it. I was playing the story mode. Uh, not even the story mode. The tutorial for the story mode. Anyway, it's starting to get dark here. What time have we got here? It's almost bedtime here. Uh, let's build that thing now. Spear. If you... If you... 
get too tired, you just fall down on the ground and go to sleep, which is really bad. You do not want to sleep on the ground in this game because you'll get covered in worms and in order to get worms uh, off you, you need to dig them out with little bone tools. Uh, not fun, not fun at all. I'm waiting till I'm really thirsty because I think when you swig out of the, take a swig out of this thing, it's going to use up all the water. So I'm going to save until I really need it. Now my spear should be on yeah hot bar three. Now we're going to go kill some bugs. Get in here. Okay. I don't think as, as long as we stay fairly far back, we can safely get these guys. Obsidian stone. Okay, that's a stronger. Stronger stone for better tools. Okay, there's a spider here. You definitely will get poisoned if you walk on one of those. And I'll be walking on plenty of them, I'm sure. That looks like a stone. Yep. I can hear some something up there. I'm just going to bring this to the front here. I thought I heard something in the... Uh, <gasps> There's probably some critters under here. I'm going to try to clear this with my stone tool here. I'm getting better with blades by doing this. Okay, I'm exhausted. You can also use a hatchet on these. Now, the more you get skill, the less stamina it uses. Okay, I'm hearing creepy music. That's creeping me out. Uh, you, you can make torches. Let's go in here a little bit more. A little bit creepy at night, but... Uh, now, if you use the default darkness settings, it's really dark in here. Okay, we got an iron vein. I don't even know how to use iron yet, so... Uh, this would be a pretty cool base location. Hmm. Nice little hovel. I don't know if the spiders will keep respawning though. We could set up in here though. It's a little bit of a trek to get in here. That'd be a good place for a fire maybe. Or here. A anywhere that we can get by it without getting burnt I think. As long as it's undercover. Let's just see where we can build it again here. And hopefully those guys don't respawn on top, because that would suck. Okay, I think I can safely put it... here. Okay, six stick. Let's just put, put in what we have. We need four more sticks. Oh, something weird going on with the ground there. Take the stone outside. And plop it down. I'm going to put all my materials out here to start. Okay, how are we doing? We're a little bit thirsty. We're getting a little bit hungry there. <clears throat> There's this guy here who could provide us with some food. Oh, you can also make a bow. A bow is a long stick and a rope. It's really easy to make. I'm going to make a bow. Rope, long stick. And then arrows are two feathers and a small stick. But I don't think I have enough feathers here. I only have one feather. Sometimes you find dead birds just out in the wild. Uh, we unlock some stuff by doing that. Also, you can sometimes get some... Take mud out of the water. I'm going to do that and then just drop it. Because it'll unlock a bunch of mud equipment. I should probably get to sleep soon, but uh, I want to get this fire going. Oh, that rattlesnake was up there, wasn't it? Yeah, I can see him right there. Okay, uh... Still haven't found a coconut. We'll have to go look for a coconut in the morning. When visibility is a little bit better. I'm going to chop down one of these small trees to get some sticks. This axe is about to break. But, luckily we uh, managed to get it before it disintegrated. That's a small stick there, yeah. Uh, okay, we got 
A long stick? Now you can chop long sticks into smaller sticks, but I don't advise it because the long sticks are a little bit more rare. So I'll get the sticks first. And then we'll pick up these long ones. Was oh, that a regular one there? No, that's the tree stump. You want to leave the tree stump because the tree apparently will regrow. Now you can build full-on customized houses in this game as well. I've never done it, but we'll probably do it in this series. Because I'm definitely playing this as the game for the channel for now. I'm going to eat one of these guys. Cheap, cheap protein. Now this is going to expire. I'm just going to eat that. Eat a banana. How are we doing for carbs? We need, we need just about everything. But not desperately. We'll eat the nut. I think I just ate the mushroom by mistake. Let's eat the nut. Eat the snail. He's not, <laughs> he's not gonna like it. Okay. I'm kind of playing with fire by eating those snails without cooking them. But did we have enough sticks to... I don't think we have enough sticks just yet. I'm gonna go get a few more. These flowers are really good. I'm gonna chop this down right now. These give you the yellow flowers. You want to cut these down, you get Molinaria leaves, which we want to craft. Not inspect. Craft into a bandage. I'm going to make three bandages. I made so many mistakes when I was playing in the beginning. Um, so it would have, it would have, the series would have started off with me dying over and over, and maybe I'll make a joke video of what, what my early experience was like, but I'm still a noob, still learning the ropes. Okay, we got our sticks. We have enough sticks to get that fire going. <clears throat> but there's going to be more to do than just build the fireplace, as you can imagine. Okay, the fire is ready. It says it needs an ember. So we need a fire starting tool. And you make that. I uh, need to rest. There's a little lizard there. I want to see if I can get this lizard while he's there. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> With the bow, it's a lot easier. Okay, we need to rest. Uh, I think we can probably craft this before we sleep, though. This flat plank and a stick makes a nothing. Maybe we need a small stick? Oops. Yeah, this is the hand drill. Small stick and plank. This will let us get an ember. But, you know what? I'm not going to start the fire because I'm about to sleep anyway. Hey, the turtle's back. Hey, Mr. Turtle. We got some turtle meat already. It's going to rot in seven hours. Jeez. It's going to rot while we sleep. Unfortunately. Now you can dry meat. Uh, maybe we should cook that meat before we sleep. Or we can sleep for a little while. Let's sleep for a little while here. I'm going to save again. Save again. Uh, let's drink this water while, while it's raining. Get the hydration. So we're pretty good. We just need protein. So I'm going to sleep just really briefly here. Oh, we got a leech on us. Let's wake up right away and get that leech off. Now the way you can get covered in lots of little critters. To get those off, hold C, inspect, and then look at each of your limbs and then you can rotate your arms. And we got leeches, so we gotta pull these off. And now the indicator went away, so we're safe again. Hey, buddy. This is actually gonna be good. This guy's gonna respawn over and over. We'll have endless meat. Safe meat, okay. Let's try to make a fire. Now this is still, I still have to think about this. We have to go in here to fire making. Uh, that, use the hand drill. Right click, use. I need to rest. He's gonna start swearing here. Uh, and then we need some dry leaves, which we got earlier off the palm. That's in here somewhere. Under leaves, where is it? Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure... Did, oh, I know I, I never got any dry palm yet. Small leaf pile. I might be able to... Hmm. I need, yeah, I need some fiber. Hmm. If we cut down... I didn't get any dry fiber from that other thing, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, I want to cook this meat before I sleep. Sometimes you get it just from these things. I'll try on this again. Hopefully it'll work. Our axe is about toast, though. Stupid piece of shit! <laughs> there goes the axe. Uh, let's try to craft another one. Can we? Do we have the stones for it? Stone. Stick. Like I said, there are better axes. But, uh, I just want to get this fire going. Probably have to sleep again soon. Okay, any dry leaves this time? I might have to cut down a full on tree to get the dry ones. Let's pick up these just in case I'm missing something here. I didn't get any dry ones, unfortunately. Uh, there's a dead frog here. <clears throat> Free food. I'm gonna get that. Let's drop these. Whoa, made a mess. Dead frog. <laughs> Cane toad. <clears throat> now the colorful toads. Uh, you don't want to pick them up. Will uh, have some bad effects. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little snooze here though, just so we don't pass out before we get this fire going. Sleep for a little bit here. <sighs> okay, it's morning already. I didn't. I wanted to sleep through the night completely, but uh, I do. I need to find some fiber. Now, you can turn other plants into fiber. I'll see if I can chop this down and turn it into some fiber. What do we get? We got a small leaf pile. Uh, there's some other stuff in there. Oh, we got an unknown bulb. Small stick. Yeah, we need some fiber. Some plants you can turn into fiber. I don't think this one we can, but we'll see. Harvest. We got some roots from that. Unknown roots. Let's harvest this cane toad. Small leaf pile. Craft, destroy. You can sort your inventory. Hold down Y. Auto sorts it for you. Pretty nice. But you know what? Hmm. Oh, maybe this flower I can harvest. Now these are good for medicines and stuff. I do know if I chop down a big palm tree like that one. Oh, there's a coconut up there. There's coconuts up there. Now to get coconuts down, you can chop down the tree, but you can also throw a rock up there. Now I don't know if you have to be exactly on. No, I'll aim a little bit high. Okay, yeah, terrible aim, apparently. Let's go pick those stones up and try again. It's funny, I... Oh, there's one on the ground. Perfect! We don't even have to throw it down, but... Okay, coconuts. You hit them with a thing, with an axe or a thing. And you get your... This kind of coconut. Uh, and then we can take it. And we can harvest it. We can drink it first. Well, I'll drink it first. 15 hydration. And then we can harvest it. We can also craft it into something, but I'm going to harvest this one. And then you can actually harvest the halves. You can eat it directly, or you can harvest it. The reason you might want to harvest it is you can actually cook this coconut flesh. Uh, how are we doing for fats? We're pretty good on fat in the fat department. You'll find later on, fats is probably the hardest thing to find. Until you start killing boar and stuff. Okay, I'm going to chop this and see what we get. 
Unknown flower and unknown herb. Oh, our tortoise meat spoiled. Crap. Oh well. You can destroy stuff. These bananas are still good. The nuts are still good. This meat. Yeah, we'll cook that up in a bit. The spider. No, you don't eat this spot. You don't eat these things. You'll get. You'll lose sanity. Okay, unknown herb. I'm going to harvest it. What do we get? We got some fiber from that. Okay, good. That's good news. I do want to chop down this big tree here, though. Just because... Why not? I should probably just go start my fire. Kind of exhausted. If you eat some certain foods, you get energy, though. Oh, there we go. Bunch of logs. Let's, uh... I'm going to pick up three logs. We'll come back for more in a bit here. We can actually run with these, I think. I wish you could harvest these things, because they look so neat, but <clears throat> you can't, apparently. Oh no, you know what? Fuck. I, just <laughs> I just got a rash. I knew I was going to do it. I knew I was going to get too close to that thing. Crap, we got to get our logs out of there. There's ants all over the place. I knew I was going to do it. Now, I think there's a way to clear out those things later. Okay, we got our fiber. I think we can probably go... Oh yeah, this rash. We need to treat this rash. Let's go inspect ourselves here. Not there. Oh no! Oh no! I hear the natives. Uh oh, we'll just sneak away into the here. Into here quickly, into here. They don't see us. They will attack you on sight. They kind of patrol around. I'm glad they didn't see me. The locals. Oh, we're losing sanity because of this rash. Let's check our book here. I think there's a way to treat rashes. Rash. A bandage in combination with a plant with antihistamine. Is to him is antihistamatic properties. Okay. I'm not sure exactly which plants do antihistamines yet. Well maybe that actually will show me here. Tobacco is anti venom. Uh, it I don't think it's gonna kill us though. It's gonna hurt our san sanity, but not that badly. So let's uh try to make a fire now. I'm pretty sure that spider and scorpion is going to respawn here, and then I'm going to get bit. But, uh, I guess we'll find out here. Okay, hand drill. Use. And fiber. So you drag the fiber in out of the thing. Makes a little ember. Fuck! Uh, I think I failed. Yeah, I failed. It's funny, when you go to do things on camera, everything fails. Because I've never failed making a fire before. If you're too tired, it doesn't work sometimes. Maybe that's the problem. Those guys are gone. I need to rest. Yeah, let's go to let's do a full sleep. We're sleeping in the day, which is not good. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I want to keep some daylight here. So we'll wake up around noon. Seems like a good sleep in. Hey, just like real life, waking up at noon. Okay. Uh, I think that used up. It didn't use up the fiber, luckily. That's good. It's nice and bright out now. And we always keep an eye out for scorpions and stuff. I will use this obsidian eventually. Let's try this again. Your fire skills do get better. He sounds like Sawyer from uh, Lost. Pop that in there. Hey, we got fire! We have become a caveman. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this obsidian stone. Okay, let's get some things on the fire. We can put... Oh, I have two obsidian stone. Let's... Let's actually... You know what? Let's cook the food first. We got this meat. Let's stick that on. There's two places you can cook on here. 
Uh, I tried to boil water once by putting it on this top one, but that's actually, if you put water on this top one, it'll put your fire out. So don't do that. We can cook the spider. Uh, so you can see the progress indicator there. It's cooking away. Uh, I think my stuff up here rotted. Our mushrooms rotted. They don't last very long. We'll sort that up. How are these bananas? 20 hours. Uh, we could use some carbohydrates. Let's eat the bananas. I just want to get established in this first episode. And then... Uh, later on, we'll start doing some exploring. And I should probably be saving more often, because you never know when bad things will happen. But if I turn my back on the food, it will burn. You can still eat burnt food, but it's not as good. So that's that's cooked. We'll take that off the grill. The spider's still cooking. How are we doing for protein? We need some protein, so let's eat this right away. And we can cook this flesh, coconut flesh, or we can eat it directly. Uh, how's how long that gonna take? The spider's almost done. To add fuel to the fire, you just drag sticks onto the fire like that. Small sticks don't give you much. The medium sticks are better, and then you can actually put planks in there as well. <clears throat> and later on we'll build a ring around our fire. That spider is cooked. Now, I think if we eat this spider, we'll have bad effects. Uh, apparently you can use these. I'm going to burn the spider on purpose. I kind of want to compare this cooked coconut to the raw coconut. Oh, it's going to rain again. I'm going to go... <clears throat> I'm going to go drink out of this... Uh, Thing. We'll go get a coconut and make a coconut uh, flask in a bit here. Okay, we got the coconut flesh. Here's the cooked version. Let's eat that. We got five carbs, ten fats, two energy. And the raw is five carbs, ten fats. So you get some more energy if it's cooked. Good to know. I think I can cook this scorpion. I'm not going to cook him just yet, though. When does he expire? Three hours. Yeah, let's cook him. <laughs> and the spider will continue to cook and then eventually burn. I think you can turn the burnt spiders into stuff. Okay. Uh, I was going to get a coconut. Beware of the snake. Uh, there we go. I'm going to try to... You can also shoot them out with a bow, but I'm going to try the stone again here. There we go, bullseye. Okay, let's get a rock back. Did I have any other stones here that I left behind? Probably. Okay, coconut. Pick that up. Oh, there's a magic mushroom there. Okay, we're going to hit this with a spear. Pick it up. <clears throat> and we're going to craft this plus... A rope gives you a coconut bidon, which is like a little, a little flask, basically. Pretty nice. This kind of mushroom you can, are poisonous. Uh, we'll pick it up. Why not? A little rot in our inventory, but that's okay. We need some more sticks. I want to cut one of these big ones down. We get lots of logs and sticks. And there's no coconuts on that, so I think it's okay. Oh, we got something on us. What's on us? Leeches, maybe? Oh, is it the rash? Oh, we got mega leeches on us. Jeez, get those off. Get, get, get off. Disgusting. Leeches everywhere. I got an achievement for picking le leeches off. <laughs> okay. I'll continue to cut this down. Bingo. Okay, I'm going to harvest some of these. I'm going to 
this, hit this log for long sticks and planks. We'll get the planks, get the long sticks. Take those back. We're going to stockpile all of everything just to, up here. Now, ants are actually good, I think, for some purposes. You can use them to seal wounds. Oh, you know what? There's nuts. There's nuts respawning under this tree here. Can I sneak in there without getting bitten? Yes. I think if you use a torch, uh, these the ants won't bother you. So, that's good. There goes the lizard. I hear something back there. Okay, we got the scorpion cooked and the spider burnt. Okay, good. And you know what? I'm going to harvest one of these logs. If you hit the log, you get a plank and two long sticks. But if you but if you harvest it, you get um, four sticks and some planks, I think. Did I just get a bunch of planks from that? I think I did. I don't want to carry around all these planks, so I'm going to drop a few. Actually, that's my hand drill. What did I want to show you in here? I wanted to show you a few things. Okay, we're going to get some dirty water. You can get, I could get clean water out of this, but I'm going to grab some dirty water using this tool, coconut bead on. You just hover it over the water and it fills it up. Now it's full of unsafe water. 40, it holds 40 water. We're going to take it up here. And if you drag it on this point here, it'll put your fire out. We don't want that. And you can't actually cook it directly, I don't think. Nope. But what you can do is drag these shells onto the cooking slots. Then drag this into here. And it'll boil your water for you. And make it safe. And we have another leech on us. Where are, where are all these leeches coming from? I guess I was standing in the water. You gotta stand on the water edge or you get leeches. <sighs> okay. Water's boiled, so we could drink it right now, but I kinda wanna... We can cook things in it as well. Uh, scorpion. Can we put a scorpion there? No. Can we put a burnt spider in there? No. Uh, mushroom. Oh, we could put the mushroom in here. I think we're still going to get poisoned if I drink that mushroom. I think I've experienced that already. <clears throat> but you know what we could put in there? We could take a mystery snail. There's a lot of things you can put in water. The most useful one i found so far is putting bones in water. Uh, it makes a really nutritious soup. You can also put... What is that? Oh, it's the thing boiling. <laughs> it scared me. Okay, we got the mystery snail soup. We got four protein, ten hydration, and one energy. Now, I don't know if this water will boil away over time. But let's put some more sticks on the fire. And let's go take a look around. It's getting late again. The sun's starting to go down. How are we doing for nutrients? We're pretty good. We need some protein. Let's take a little look around here. Well, we could, we could cook the snake. I'm gonna try to get this guy without dying. Um, this is playing with fire here. You can also throw the spear. Let's harvest that rattlesnake. Danger. We'll see how long it takes for him to respawn there. We got a couple pieces of meat from that. That's good. Uh, let's, uh... Oh, it's gonna rain. Perfect. <laughs> How are we doing for water? Pretty good. Okay, we can, I think we can put raw snake meat in the soup. Soups cook way faster. And they give the same nutrition. Versus just cooking it on the stove. But the advantage of cooking it on the stove is that you can take it away. This you can't take away, as far as I know. So you just kind of have to eat it right away. I'll drink it right away. Some proteins and stuff. 
So way faster. If you need to consume right away, I recommend that. If you need to consume in the near future, like in a day, cook it. And if you need to, if you need it to last a long time, make a drying rack. And we're gonna actually make a drying rack here. If I can figure out where it is. Maybe it's here. Maybe I don't have the ability to make it yet. Let's see. Uh, pottery table, mud mixer. Mud shower. Bow trap. Stone trap. I don't, I'm not sure if I have it yet. Storage box. I don't think I have it yet. Drying rack. It actually takes... Oh, the reason I don't have it is I haven't seen it. The last place I was at was like an abandoned camp and it had one <clears throat> so yeah okay I should have had my coconut shells out during that exercise actually my meat is gonna burn <laughs> multitasking take that and we'll take this coconut shell off for now and we got some water left in here. I'm going to turn the fire off because we're going to sleep. The only disadvantage of doing that is... We'll have to start another fire and we'll need fiber for that, which I don't have. So I'm going to just fuel the fire before we go to bed. These planks make really good fuel. So we'll top off the fire. We'll just have the fire going non-stop. Yeah, that felt filled it completely. That was good. Okay. Perfect. It's, uh... 8 o'clock. Seems like a good time to sleep. Let's drink that. It'll probably rain during the night. And let's put out some more shells. Put these two coconut shells out. What the hell is that? What am I hearing? I don't know what that sound was. Maybe that was my coconut shell draining liquid? I've never heard that sound before. Anyway. Oh, well, maybe it was that little lizard guy. I don't think bananas rot on the, on the vine, so it's probably better to leave them on the vine. Because they expire pretty quickly. This scorpion cooked. I'm going to try eating this. Minus five sanity. Three protein. Okay, not advisable. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> How are we doing otherwise? Uh, we're a little bit low on protein, but let's sleep through the night here. And then in the morning, we'll save. Probably should save first, but <clears throat> let's sleep through the night here. Our sanity went back up because we slept. And let's save here. Save. Okay. The fire's still going. That's good. How much fuel did we burn in our snooze? Oh, it's almost gone. Now, sometimes it's good to let the fire go up because you'll get charcoal and ash out of it. So I'm, I'm actually going to let that fire burn out. I think we're okay for food right now. Yeah. You know what? I might boil the water just real quick here. Yeah. Oh no, we got water overnight. How are we doing for water? Let's take, take a few swigs here. I always like to bring one half shell or two half shells with me in case I'm out and about. Out in a boot, as Canadians say. Because um, you can get water on the go by just putting shells down. Pretty low on protein, actually. Let's uh, eat some mystery snails. Actually, we can eat this meat first. We're gonna eat the battle sneak meat. Twelve protein. Actually, not much protein in that. No, bad idea. <laughs> okay, uh, it's not really light yet. Maybe we can sleep another hour to get some more daylight here. There we go. Oh, I heard something splashing around in there. I'm going to try to throw my spear at this guy. 
Middle mouse button for aiming. I missed him. That's okay. We'll take a quick look around. I'm going to wrap it up pretty soon here. Um, next episode, we'll do some more exploring. I'll do some organizing off camera. We'll move some move some stuff into position. But then next time, we will venture out and kind of explore a little bit. There are some kind of things that look like roads on the island. Or whatever this is. Peninsula. Oh, there's a little guy there. Capybara. They're cute and they're delicious. We need to get some bird feathers first, though. Whoa, what was that? I don't know what that was. That freaked me out. Oh, I can hear the locals. I'm running away. Walking away. Now, there are pumas and jaguars and... Some nasty critters out there that can kill you pretty quickly. But if you if you run, they will chase. But if you kind of s slowly back up, they will um, they will leave you alone. I'm gonna try to drop this off the cliff here. That kind of worked. I'm too lazy to watch me fall off the cliff. That would be bad. There's a snake up there and some mushrooms. I haven't really explored this little shelf here yet. What is that? That looks like a dead... That's a dead mouse. We'll take it. <laughs> I hear buzzing something. There are bees in this game. These mushrooms I know are safe. I learned through testing. <laughs> Some of these mushrooms give like... Um, They'll get rid of parasites. Okay, uh, we're too too close to that guy. Oh, the, this is the top of the cave. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, we don't want to fall down that. Oh, tons of rocks up here. Okay, here's the cheat for picking up rocks. I'm going to use it here because there's so many stones. But we craft, and we put the stone up there, and we move around, and we put more stones and more stones. And it's not adding to our weight. It is definitely a cheat. We can even put stones on there. Oh no, I hit tab. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to keep uh, crafting and then walk back. There's a bunch of stuff up here. Sticks and... Oh, this was from me chopping the tree. Uh, get that vine. It's gonna rain again. It rains so often. Now, I don't know if there's a dry season or not. Um, oh, there's a dead bird. Dead bird. So happy to see a dead bird, but poor little parrot. I hope he died of old age, but we can harvest him. And we got a bunch of feathers. So feathers and small sticks. We love them. We'll put two feathers and a small stick. Allows us to craft aerials. We can make three, so I'm gonna make three. And now we got some real firepower. We got a bow. Uh, let's get that bow out. Did I make a bow yet? Yeah, we got the bow out. Now, headshots in this game kill everything in one shot, as far as I know. So if you have good aim, that's a wonderful thing. Uh, I'll get those rocks off camera. I'll do a lot of like schlepping around of materials off camera. But the exploring and unlocking new things, I will keep on camera. Yeah, once you've seen me harvest a thing a few times, we'll save you from that. But I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Seems like a pretty good opening. We got the fire going. We got the shelter going. We didn't die. We have friends in our camp. Friends that will make us food later. I'll, I, actually, let's test out this boat. Headshot. Okay. And lizard. Missed. Missed again. Okay. And I'm out of arrows. <laughs> but arrows, uh, you get them back. 
if you can find them. Now, if you don't kill something in the first shot, um, it some of them some of the things like boars will run away on you, and you have to chase them to find them. Eventually, they'll bleed out. But we're gonna wrap it up there. I want to keep this uh, at one hour. Uh, I think all the episodes will be one hour-ish, thereabouts. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. I do lots of survival games and uh, sandbox kind of games. Uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.